it's your rabid raccoon uh, doing a pumpkin. <laughs> I will change it up every now and then just to make life interesting. My teeth. Anyway, it is uh, Wednesday, I think. Uh, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I had to get up and take a shot in the leg because I woke up with a migraine. Yeah, uh, I think needles just really like me. And I just like to stick it to myself. <laughs> um, so an update. I'm just here real quick to give you an update on Mickey Pickles. Mickey has some sort of infection going on. And um, I think I said that a little bit the other day that we were suspecting that he had an infection. And, wow, I should see the dentist. <laughs> I'm like a freaking shark that doesn't lose his teeth. <laughs> Looks like I have some uh, mm, heartburn. <laughs> I'm smoking, baby. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, the licking of the paws and everything is still going on, and he does have an appointment with the vet on Monday. It's as soon as we could get him in. It's not anything major. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um... Mickey doesn't have anything life-threatening going on. He does have an infection on in his wrinkles, like I said, like we suspected. Um, the vet actually recommended giving him Benadryl for the itch, as he's been digging at his, trying to anyway, at his wrinkles. Um, last night, he irritated it quite a bit. While, um, uh, while he was trying to rub it across the carpet like this. And, um, when he, they said that we were doing really great with the idea of doing a partial vinegar to water, um, rinse and, um, you know, warming it up. And laying the washcloth across his nose to get the dried, caked-on crud off his face. Cleaning it up gently. They told us no more liquid bandage, that it needed to get air. So after you put the, the wash on, you know, soften it up and clean it out a little bit. We went gentle because it was bleeding a little bit. And then gently dried it with a soft towel, let it let it hit the air. So the Benadryl was to stop the itch. And we are still giving him his anti-anxiety supplement. And between that and the Benadryl, it knocked him out for a while, which was good. He slept through the night without moving. <laughs> I was a little concerned that he was dead this morning, but he was okay. And then when he got up, you could give him Benadryl. Yes, over-the-counter adult Benadryl, human Benadryl, every eight hours, 25 milligrams, which I happened to have one in the house, which I was lucky. So I gave him one as soon as Paul let me know what the um, vet said. And then... Paul brought some more home yesterday when he got done work, as we only have one car, and um, there's nothing within walking distance. Can you believe that? So, now Mickey's awake and licking his paws, which, if you're not aware, um, so, I don't think his paws are infected, 
Um, I checked them for, you know, sores and whatnot. And, you know, giving him a little whiff to see if he's got a yeast infection. Because uh, you can smell a yeast infection. And um, I just think he's licking the paws. Because a dog will lick their paws if they are agitated. Um, and, of course, if there's an infection on the paws. Uh, I looked even in between the toes and nothing. So I think that he's doing that out of agitation. Um, he was doing that before the infection because... Pugs tend to do that um, obsessively, and he's sticking his tongue out and just licking the air. Not his air zen moments like I've posted before, but he's licking his nose and trying to lick the wrinkles um, as a source of, you know, trying to heal himself. Um, despite the fact, or no, despite what the what people say about you know if you've got a boo-boo let your dog lick the wound and it will um, help it heal faster um, that's not true a dog actually has a very filthy mouth um, they carry a lot of germs not as much as cats can carry in their feces but a uh, dog licking your wounds or inside your mouth, <laughs> as some people let their dogs do, uh, that's not good to do. I will let my dog lick my cheek, and he does this weird thing every once in a while where he'll try to incessantly lick my legs. It's a thing he goes through. And I've heard a lot of other pug owners say that their dog does that. Um, I don't know if other dogs do that. I've never had a dog do that before, except for my pug. And um, if you let him go at it, he will lick for a long time. Now, he does that when I have lotion. At, and he hasn't done it in a long time. But he would do that when I had lotion on, which... Makes sense because the lotions I use are from Bath and Body Works. And, man, I would eat those lotions. And they taste like food, you know. It's like I could just sit there and squeeze a bottle in the back of my throat if I knew that, you know, I could get away with it without being sick. But, you know, they smell good. They look good. And he would lick them. But um, he will also lick my legs if I don't have lotion on. And I'm thinking, do you need salt in your diet? <laughs> but it's a pug thing. And um, yeah, if you guys have dogs that do this and they're different breeds, let me know. I'm, I'm curious. But of course you won't let me know because... Nobody likes to, well, no, a couple of you guys, I take that back. A couple of you guys do interact with me on here. Pam, and I know you don't have a dog. Um, uh, Debbie, I know you have a pup, so I, I don't know if he's licking legs or anything yet. Cute little Hades. Um, you'll have to send me a picture or something because... I'm not on Vero anymore, so I don't get to see what Hades looks like. She's got this cute little um, baby pit bull, um, Hades, and he's adorable. <laughs> um, I want to pet him. Uh, so, uh, so that's the update on Mickey. Um, right now, like I said, he's licking his paws but as long as he's getting some sleep which he you know he'd been sleeping quite a bit this morning and he's been up for a little while now and has been licking his paws but he's not scraping his nose across the floor which is good because this poor little face needs some rest um i'm watching uh, the new American Horror Story Apocalypse. I watched the first episode, and I'm halfway through the second episode, and I think that's all that's out right now. 
And <coughs> excuse me, too much smoking. <laughs> I'm actually a non-smoker, but I was just kidding because of this pumpkin. <laughs> I bet that this pumpkin doesn't smell good. Uh, just a guess, but he's kind of rotting and, you know, kind of, he's got a hole in his head. Look, um, they're bringing back, you know, just like in all the other shows, a lot of the characters come back for episodes. Um, I did not watch Freak Show. I did not watch um, the political one that was last season. I don't remember what it's called. I didn't watch Freak Show because of, is it Twisty the Clown? I may try to watch that because I don't like clowns. But I heard there were other clowns in that as well. And I hear the political one had clowns in it. I watched most of Roanoke, but I hated it. So I didn't finish. Um, the first season, Murder House, of course, opened me up to it. And I loved it. And then the Asylum was great. And Coven was great. So those are the ones that I watched. Um... So far, Apocalypse is, is of great, you know, it's, it's, it's good. So I'm hoping it's up to the caliber of those three seasons. And I know a lot of people didn't like, um, Roanoke. And I know a lot of people didn't care for the political one. Um, a lot of people did like the freak show one though. So I, I don't know. I don't know if that one was good. So I, I can't I can't judge that one. And I can't judge the political one, really, because I didn't watch it. However, um, ma, 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 Roanoke I did not like. I didn't see the point of it. So this one, I think, will be very good. Oh, and the hotel one. Oh, my God, I can't believe I forgot that one. I like the hotel one as well. That one had some really, really messed up stuff in it, but I, I mean, come on, it's American Horror Story. Um, that one was great, too. I can't believe I forgot about that one. That one really was great. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping that it lives up to the standard of the, the really great ones. Um, I'm excited to see, to see who else comes back. I'm kind of disappointed that Emma Roberts is back because I really don't like her. Um, of course, you're not supposed to like her, I don't think, in the shows. Cause she was a full-on bitch. And I just don't care for her as an actress or as a person. <laughs> so... Um, I am glad to see that, uh, the guy that plays Tate is back, uh, Kathy Bates is back, um, I can't remember the name of that one woman, but I like her too, and there's some new interesting characters, so I'm excited to see how they play out, um, and we shall see, so, also, The Good Doctor, the new season's on. Um, the good place starts up on October 27th, if you're interested in that. And I'm not sure what else is on yet, because, um, I'm trying to catch up on American Crime Story, which is an amazing show if you've not watched it. It's on Netflix, I think? Yeah, it's on Netflix. So I'm catching up on that. We just finished season... Two or three? Season two, I think. Um, which they uh, based it kind of loosely on Columbine. So um, if you like a show that kind of deals... It, it's, a, it's very realistic and deals with topics that are in the headlines very loosely. But... It, it's hard to explain it. And I didn't prepare to talk about that, so I don't really have the words. So I'm going to shut up now. Uh, I'm on my fourth cup of coffee today. Mm. Just because. <laughs> coffee and 
Tang. <laughs> Coffee Tang. <laughs> so I'm bouncing off the walls, and I slept late because I had a migraine. I slept till 11. I didn't even know what time it was. I didn't. I didn't even know what day it was until I watched. Until I watched Pam saying Happy Hump Day. She's always so happy and perky, and I like that because it makes me go, Oh, hi, world! It helps me get in a good mood because I'm not really a morning person, and. Um, having some positive people in your life really, you know, helps set the mood for the day. And, um, I always liked being negative, if that makes any sense to you, because I figured the world needed negative people. <laughs> and it just seemed easier to be negative, and I liked the power it had. And I'll talk about that some other time, but it feels good to smile, and I know it's good exercise for the face, <laughs> because gravity's starting to take over, because I'm getting older, so it's like, eh, let's get the face up, mm -hmm. ah, facelift, hey, this guy kind of looks a little bit like the Grinch, hi, I'm the orange Grinch, mm -hmm. you see it, right, look, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch, mm -hmm. Grinch with more teeth. Mm -hmm. What would you like for Christmas? Mm -hmm. You're not going to get it. Okay. Uh, seriously, I gotta go now and finish this half hour remaining in um, episode two of American Horror Story Apocalypse and try to get my dog to stop licking his paws because it's driving me nuts. It's like, nope, 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 nope. That's all I hear. Can you hear it? Ugh, disgusting. But it makes sense. Now he's looking at me. <laughs> he knows I'm talking about him. <laughs> even, even the cat's judging him. All right, folks, I'll talk to you later. Bye.